Hello everyone. So from what you see in the title, it's very uh, sad. It's very unfortunate. So the title is true. I have stopped using tretinoin. I actually stopped using tretinoin for probably the past few months, probably even more. I can't remember when I started. I think it was towards the end of last year or this January. I can't remember, but basically sometime within like the winter and I have used it for about a few months. I have done updates on my skin and my skin has been looking amazing but the only thing is is that I have stopped using it. I wanted to make a whole video on the reasons why I stopped using it and if I'm going to start it again. I can only share my experience from back then until now my thoughts on it. I'll start from I guess whenever I started it. I was super excited to start it. I really wanted to be on it for a long time ever since I can remember. And I remember like the first week of using it like I used it pretty much every single night. It was the full 1% micro gel tretinoin or 0.1 it was the strongest one and the micro gel it's not going to purge your skin so much or irritate your skin so much to the point where it gets red and again you like want to stop because a lot of people want to quit early if they use it often but since it was a micro gel the micro gel it releases it very very slowly like the tretinoin so then your skin actually doesn't break or you know get dry so fast or peel so fast to the extent of non micro gel so that's why I was recommended the micro gel for my doctor I used a prescription and I actually didn't know the micro gel existed until my doctor recommended it and prescribed it to me and I asked to do it for overall just texture acne scars and like glowiness because tretinoin is amazing for that so I started using it basically every single night and my skin was peeling a lot but surprisingly it was actually more gentle compared to like a lot of videos I have seen online because again they weren't using the micro gel but anyway I'll try to put some footage here of what my skin was looking like when it was peeling going through its little purge thing ever since my very last tretinoin update which i can't remember the exact date so i'll put it here but again it's uploaded you can check out all my videos on tretinoin if you want i actually stopped using it very shortly after the last tretinoin update and it's not because i hate it so yeah now i'll go into the reason why like i actually stopped because again every single update it seemed like there was no negative side effects there was no negative things to say about it and my skin has been getting clearer and clearer ever since I have been using it I would say though if you have active pimples or any active breakouts like for example like I have one like by my chin but tretinoin will not get rid of active acne I feel like it's more for scarring again hyperpigmentation and trying to get overall evenness with the skin tone but if you have active pimples it may dry out your skin but honestly it might just irritate your acne more than heal it so I highly Highly, highly recommend if you do have acne before you start using tretinoin I would recommend you only have scarring and acne free skin so I would say go to a dermatologist or a naturopath like I did and I made sure I figured out how to get clear skin from the inside out with food so I could do more what I eat in a day videos but anyway I'm getting off topic so so as the days got progressively longer and longer with summer my skin like I was actually super super paranoid that my skin skin would not survive using tretinoin even once a week. I feel like using tretinoin during the summer, the days are so long and also the UV rays are so strong to the point where they could like damage your skin. Again, if you're not protecting your skin carefully with the right amount of like sun protection, if you are using tretinoin, basically progressively stopped shortly after the last updated video because again, the days were getting longer and longer and very hot. And if you are using tretinoin, you have to wear sun sunblock I do it every single day like just sunscreen white cast though you can't like use sunscreen mild you have to really really like layer it on with tretinoin and on top of that you should be wearing sunglasses hats like protective hats like if you put on your hands I guess or your neck like you have to wear again literally like clothing to cover your skin I mean you don't have to but it's probably recommended to again layer with the sunscreen and then while you can like whenever you have the chance cover your face and neck with cloth, like whether it's hat or like scarves or something. That's the only thing. Again, as much and religiously, I do use sunscreen. I just didn't know if I, like I was just really scared because if you do use tretinoin and you don't use it correctly, your skin will actually look worse and worse over time and you could actually create wrinkles and a bunch of premature aging and blotching all over the skin and irritation. So that's actually what happens if you don't use tretinoin the right way. Why I stopped using tretinoin 
temporarily. I actually really, really do like it, okay? So the title is very true, but it's not because I hate it. It's just because it was very, very scary to think about like, oh my God, am I doing the right thing or wrong thing during when the sun is at its peak? all the time and the days are so long the sun just scared me so i'm like backed off from threat no one for again a few months or more I, again i can't remember the last update video the good news is again it's september already which is crazy but i am thinking of starting to use tretinoin probably towards the end of this month so i'll definitely keep updates and kind of basically start from square one i don't think there's any better time to start tretinoin than when the days are getting shorter and the sun is not as strong as it is compared to the summer so if any of you are starting tretinoin definitely start your tretinoin journey with me at the same time if you want and we can just be motivated together but yeah long story short just the summer and the length of the sun exposure like that just scared me I was going to the beach I was outside just that combined with tretinoin is just you can do it again if you are just like extra like you just have a full body suit on all the time like just covering and there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people use tretinoin all year round but again me also considering i just started tretinoin for the very first time this year i was just like way too paranoid and just way too scared to go on and continue using it during the summer again because yeah the sun the fact that again it's so strong and also you want to be outside for the most part anyway so it just didn't make sense to me at that time but I will be starting tretinoin in the winter for sure but again probably even like fall time as the days get shorter because they are getting shorter I mean bad thing for like you know mood wise but a good thing for tretinoin so at least there's an upside to shorter days so we can all start tretinoin together yeah let me know your experience with tretinoin if you're on it and if you do use it during the summer and what do you do what precautions do you take let me know if your skin has gotten better or worse comment it down below I'd love to know and I will see you in the next video Okay, peace. <laughs>